season. So glad to have you with us on this journey. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Ali LaForce. So the Clippers win the tip. For three, George fires in the triple. Another season underway for the NBA. Grant, was there an opening night that sticks out in your mind? Well, for me, rookie year opening night is always special. Came out the gates 25, 10, and 5. Of course, 2004 was special, too, after not playing the entire previous year. Clock at 6. Griffin. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. A creative playmaker. I love when Kyrie zips it to his teammates. Pass to Zubac. Back to Jackson. 4-3. And Kyrie Irving clears the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And he comes up with a bucket. You know, Blake Griffin, he gives you a little bit of everything offensively. Terrific court awareness. Paul George. He drops it from range. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Harris on the wing. Pass to Griffin. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Griffin's got his second bucket of the night. And as much as Griffin has worked on his perimeter game, this is where he makes his money, in the painted area. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said, one thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Blocking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. Pass to Harden. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Yeah, the focus of the defense. I mean, James Harden was able to use that attention and turn it into a hoop for someone else. Now here's George. He has six. Got it. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Harden into the lane. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Unable to get that one. Good D by Harris. Brooklyn with the ball. And that one's good by Durant. The ball handling from Durant really a key to what sets him apart as a player. He can pull up and break you down. Now here's Leonard. To the paint. Kicks it out to Jackson. Last two minutes to play. First quarter. Over Harden. Jackson gets the bucket. A versatile scorer, Reggie Jackson, every year adds more moves to his arsenal. Back to Irving. Next foul. Kyrie Irving. His first foul. Coming out on the floor for the Clippers. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. There's Jackson with the three. And again, no good by the Clippers. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. George left side. Over Durant. And the Clippers miss again. And that's okay. Even though you missed, you had the right guy taking the shot. And the Nets miss again. On offense, here are the Clippers. Pass to Jackson. And the layup is good off the glass. Jackson's gotten his second bucket of the game. That's how you set the table and everybody gets to eat. Here's Durant. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. His first foul. First 
team. And of course, Kevin Durant signing a big extension this summer, fresh off a gold medal for the U.S., where he was the most dominant player in the world in Tokyo. And now locked in his next four years with the Brooklyn Nets. A great deal for him and a great deal for his squad. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Ibaka down low. Puts the move on. And it's good on the lay-in. If your leg surge get looks in there, he's going to shoot him for a very high percentage. Here's Brown. And the jam by Brown. I guess you don't need two hands when one will suffice. Hey, as long as you don't lose control. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's Bledsoe. And again, it's the Clippers converting. That's a great understanding of the pick and roll. Bledsoe has terrific instincts when it comes to that play. Now here's Durant. Going inside. Here's Claxton. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. And what I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. Tie game and some big. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen. What do you think, guys? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. Pass to Griffin. Irving. Irving. Perfect night so far. Two for two. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Bledsoe outside. Kennard outside. No good from outside. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Harris on the attack. And Harris throws it down. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Here's man. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Yep, count it. Something that's really evolved for Ibaka, the ability to absorb contact while maintaining control. Back to Harden. From deep, gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Bledsoe outside. Here's Kennard. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Outside Harden. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Ibaka. The Clippers trail. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. All right, Smitty, looking back at your career, you were named an all-star scoring 20 points a game, but you also played a few years as a role player. What do you think the key was to that transition? You know, B.A., you have to always embrace being a great teammate, no matter what the role is. Of course, winning a ring like I did with the Spurs, that makes coming off the bench much easier. So smart with the ball in his hands. George reads the floor well and takes advantage of what's there. Got a hand on it. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Leonard. Pass to Kennard. Leonard outside. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. 
And this game is tied up now. Outside Harden. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Harden's got six points in the quarter. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Jackson can't get it to go. Here's Brooklyn. Pass to Millsap. Now Griffin. Zubats comes with a double team. And Griffin gets it to go. It's a rough way to make a living, but somebody has to do it. Blake Griffin absorbing a lot of contact in the painted area. Time out, time out. The defense really fell apart there. You can't afford to leave them all alone at the arc. We're giving t-shirts to the loudest section in the building. Come on, who wants it? Get loud! Second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. It's Durant with a drive. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three point play. Defensive foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. They've gotten a lot of high quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. A multiple-time champion in this league. When Kevin Durant is healthy, he's a true force. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. I mean, good awareness for Mills. Catches the defender out of position, takes advantage. First free throw is good. Shooting for Brooklyn. Patrick Mills. And out the line. Shooting two. And so he's able to get one of two. Pass to George. All alone. And he knocks the jumper down. George has got four points this quarter. A reliable jump shooter. Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. Ran inside over Leonard and he converts the layup. Durant's got 11 points. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Jackson outside. Thirty-two seconds left in the second. Pass to George. Three-pointer. And the Clippers hit again from deep. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Outside Durant. The Clippers grab the miss. Leonard for three. The shot that time, not on target. At the half, the score. Brooklyn, 34. The Clippers, 33. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here.
said in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. The Nets with a lead. Here's Durant. And it's rejected. There's Jackson with the three. Hits the three-pointer. He's got nine. Looking at Reggie's motion, it's a little bit of a push shot, but able to get it to go. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. So we'll see Kyrie Irving go to the line here. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. I'll tell you, man, Irving can do many things for your ball club. But at the top of the list, he's a tremendous shooter with great range and great confidence. Got the line. One shot. You know, if you were to hand select a player to take the last shot for you, no one would bat an eye if you chose Kyrie Irving. Ever since his shot over Steph Curry in 2016, Irving's been a legend. And some of it's his mental approach. People say he marches to the beat of a different drum. That may help him in those big moments. Now the Nets with it. It's a one-point game. Here's Durant. And Durant with the big finish. The seven-footer Durant is a threat to dunk it. Can't let him get inside. Jacks up a three. That shot off the mark. And Brooklyn will go the other way with it. Here's Harden. Durant with it. He's got 13. Here's Griffin. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now it's a five-point Brooklyn lead. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Out to the right wing to end the run. Damn, that one's good. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. Pass to Harris. And here's Griffin. He's guarded by Zubox. Back to Irving. No good with the triple. And the Clippers have possession. They trail by three. Now George. Pounded by Harris. Leonard on the take. And it's good for two. Well, you see the power right there for Kawhi. Absorbs contact and able to convert right through it. And you look at how Kawhi goes about his business. No social media, no big presence. Just does his thing and let his game do the talking. And that reserved approach from Kawhi. Don't confuse it for a lack of personality. Smitty, he's a funny guy, but by his own words, huh? He is, B.A. Staying out of the spotlight, that's just what he likes to do. He might have missed out on some marketing potential, but keeping out of social media is a very wise choice. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Ibaka. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. James Harden picks one up. You see Surge in the painted area. Feels the defender. Goes on the attack. The first one falls. And you look at Serge Ibaka's defense. I mean, still solid overall. Not the rim protector, though, that he once was. Both free throws good from Ibaka. And you know, Grant, with Ibaka on defense, for a while, he was one of the best shot blockers in the league. I mean, he still changes shots, just doesn't block them. He's also more disciplined on leaving his feet. I mean, he can still turn a few shots away every so often. Outside for Harden. With the drive. And it's Harden with the big finish. <laughs> Check it out. Harden putting on a show, throwing down an acrobatic dunk. The Clippers trail. Pass to Kennard. Back to Bledsoe. Here's Mann. Here's Kennard. And that misses. That would have put him up. Gotta love.
love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Harris. Misses. Bledsoe outside. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Can't finish the lob. Pass to Harris. Down low. Outside for Harden. Back to Aldridge. Shoots over Ibaka. Aldridge misses. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Bledsoe with it. And Johnson picks him up defensively. To the middle. Here's Ibaka. The aggressive side of Surge coming through as Surge himself at the rim. All right. He's coming out to the court. Come on. Get loud for your Brooklyn X. Four left to play in the third quarter. And here is Irving. Seven points in the game. On the take. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. Well, at least the D was going for it. But he got to the ball just a moment late. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Oh, from the Republic of Congo, Serge Ibaka, Dikembe Mutombo, and Biz Magbiambo. A lot of big man talent. That free throw good from Ibaka. Both free throws good from Ibaka. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Irving goes in. And that one drops. Irving. Irving's got seven now in this quarter. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Batum's shot is off. The Nets with the lead. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Off target from outside. You'd like to let the clock run and take the final shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? And he stays with it. Bledsoe outside. From deep. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game. Both teams putting up points in a hurry. It's the Nets up by two. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Now Jackson to the inside. Zubac. And there it is for him. I like when Reggie Jackson is seeking out his teammate. He could have took that shot, but his teammate, he was wide open. Here's Durant. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. 
They have no answer defensively inside. Jackson outside. Back to Zubats. Kicks it out to Jackson. To take the lead. And it's Harris with the rebound. Oh, lots of drama in this game so far. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down to the final buzzer. KD. We don't talk about KD's passing enough. Durant is an elite playmaker. Pass to George. Beyond the arc. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Back to Harden. Five to shoot. From the high post. No good. A bit long that time. George for three. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Goes back up. It's deflected. And they'll keep possession. And Mills pulls it down. Brooklyn trailing. Harden with it. He's picked up by Zubats. And they'll get another chance. Here's Harden. Shoots over Jackson. Here's Griffin. Here's Durant. Durant with another miss. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Now here's George. From downtown. George with another miss. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Durant. They get it back. And here are the Clippers now. The lead is two. Tipped. Pass to Harden. Now here's Harris. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Zubats. Leonard with the ball. They set the pick. From deep three-point range. And it's slammed in by Zubats. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. quicker getting to their offense and intense on D. He said, we're right there. We have to get some quick hitters and then pressure the ball. He knows they're low on time, but he sees a way back. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to George. And here's Leonard. Launches a three. Griffin pulls down the board. A minute 31 left in the fourth quarter. Irving. There's the three. And Kawhi Leonard hits from deep. 
And now it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. They're really employing a deep-range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. Interesting approach coming down the stretch, looking to rack up points in chunks. Every moment counts here. They have got to get moving. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. Griffin right side. Pass to Durant. A shot to stop the drought. Can't get it to drop. Something's off about him this quarter. But it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Honestly, they're just down by too much to mount a comeback. And you know, disappointment starts to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. Count it! That is in Blake Griffin's DNA, dunking on guys. From Kyrie. 24 seconds left to play in the fourth. It's George with the drive. Oh, money. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far off. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. There's 18 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And it's in. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. I like KD using his size to impose his will. That's a strong move. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. We've got 13 seconds left in the game. Pass to Zubats. Jackson on the wing. George outside. So a close game. Sees the Clippers taking this one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on...